how to add text in iMovie. That's what we're talking about. Let's get started. Hi everybody, Michelle Babino here with teambabino.com and with Future Home Realty. I am actually coming on this evening to share with you how to use Keynote to create graphics for your iMovie videos that you post on YouTube. So what you're going to do is open up Keynote, go to File, Open New, click, make sure you have Wide clicked. They're standard and wide. You wanna click Wide for your movie presentation. And what I like to do is click over to zoom really quick and reduce it down to 25% and then get rid of these text boxes here. And we're gonna do something simple right now, just maybe creating a title for your video and how you can create a transparent background. And there's two ways you can do it. One way is to have a transparent background and save it that way. The other way is to create a green screen. Uh, background and import it into iMovie and then create a green screen. Uh, but I prefer to do it the first way because there's two ways I can import it into my video and that would either be a picture in picture or cutaway and I will show you the difference on that. So to get started, um, say you're just going to do a title one of the things you can do prior to creating this is actually go to your movie and where you're going to put your title, go ahead and grab a screenshot of that. And if you're not familiar how to do that on a Mac, you would click uh, Command Shift 4 to grab this little tool and get a screenshot of that. Now I already did this, so I'm going to have two of them on my desktop, but then go back to Keynote and how you import that photo is by going into insert, go down to choose, and I have this saved on my desktop. So it will be down here, um, and there it is. So I'm gonna bring that into my box and then resize it so it is the size of this box because we're going to add the text on top of it. So go ahead and grab your text create a text box. Um, I'm just going to move it over here really quick. And then for this video, I the name of the video was Do I Need a Realtor to Buy a House? I'm going to go ahead and before I actually resize it, I'm going to change the color of it. Let's just make it strawberry for now. I have a color saved, but uh, and then I'm just going to rearrange my text box a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to resize our text. Let's just make this 150. And we're going to change, change the font however you want. There's many different fonts. And so there we go. So that now has created my text that, and I wanna make sure that it's fitting right. You can rearrange it however you want. We're going to get rid of this picture before we actually save this file. You can do little things like borders. Um, I think on this one I did a line. Um, you can do the line whatever color if you want it to be the same color. You can change how you want the line to look if you want it to be more like a crayon or a scribble drawing, you could do that. Um, but let's just leave it like that for now. Another thing is if you wanted it to stand out more, you could put a shape behind it um, with a different color. And I'll show you how to do that. You just click shape, whatever shape you want, and then resize that shape to cover what you want it to cover. And you can change the color of the shape. I'm gonna change it to white. And then to put it in the background behind the font, you go down to over here to arrange. There's style text arrange. And then just click backward. And then that would put it in the back. And we can just rearrange that. But say I didn't like that, which I don't typically, I just like my fonts. Okay, so. We're gonna save this two different ways. So now I like I like how that looks. I'm gonna change my, to get rid of my photo. So just click delete. Um, make sure it's highlighted and click delete. 
Now, one way you can save this file is to do, if you're on format, go down to background and the color fill you're gonna to change to no fill. Now that automatically turns this, in, this into a transparent background, but how you save it is the key. Go to File, Export to QuickTime, and then this is what's different. Is Format, you're gonna change it to Custom, Apple ProRes 444, 4444. Next, and then save it as, um, Realtor. I'll just save it as Realtor and save that to desktop. I'm going to export that. Now, if you wanted to create it as a green screen, because that would work as well, I prefer this way and I'll tell you why later. You would add a shape. And then you would make that shape color go over here to style. And then your color would be a green color. That's fine. Make sure it takes up the whole thing. And then go to arrange so you could put it behind your text. And then how you would save this again is file, export, QuickTime. But this one you can just save it as 1080p or whatever you wanted to save it as there. And then click next and then save it as realtor. I don't need to save it as green screen because I, I know it'll save differently. Export. So these are gonna be saved to my desktop and then you're gonna go over to iMovie and then I have this video here. Even though I already have one here, we'll go ahead and import the new one. So you go to File, Import Media, and I'm going to import the two graphics that I just made, which we saved as Realtor. So here they are. So import both of those, and then I'll show you how you can drag those into your movie. So here is the one that we did first, the way I prefer to do it. And as you can see, it shows up right there. And this is a, as a cutaway right now. If you go to your overlay settings, right here, your video overlay settings, right now it's as a cutaway. Um, you can also, if for some reason I made these graphics too large or it was over on top of my face or it just needed to be resized, when you save it that way, you can do a picture in picture now you can drag this wherever you want and you can resize the font to whatever you need then so it didn't overlap. So that is the reason why I like it saved this way and um, why I like to use it that way over the green screen. And now I'll show you how to do the green screen. So the green screen you would bring in and the green screen you would have to go to your video overlays and you would have to come down here and go to green blue screen. That is the only way that it's going to show up transparent in the background. This way you would not be able to make it a picture in picture and resize, so you would have to make sure that your picture is good because if you did a picture in picture, now you see the green screen, which is again another reason why I prefer to do this way. So that is how you would in insert an easy graphic, a title, title page, or any kind of graphic that you would want to do that's just static into your movie. Later on, I will do another movie on how to add animated graphics from Keynote into your iMovie. Thank you. Do I need a realtor to buy a house? That is what we will be talking about today. So let's get started.